What it do, man? It's your boy Battle Troop coming to you live and direct from the Battle Troop headquarters. North the cleanup, man. Does an interview with knowledge. Hip hop is real, man. Oh, man, man, man. You know what, knowledge, man? You're doing a lot of interviews, fam. It's like, bro, you agree with anything somebody say, man. It's like, you know they be lying. You know they be wrong. You be like, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that's real. Yeah, that's true. That's a fact. You know what, fam? Do what you've been doing, bro. Don't look, don't expect for you to be 100 all the time. Just do what you do, brother. This blog is about Norbs, man. And matter of fact, you cheated me too. I want to let you know that too. You cheated me out of my interview, fam. Man. You bogus for that. I mean, you bogus for that knowledge. I, 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 I bet you don't let me get away with nothing. I bet you. I bet you don't let me get away with nothing. I bet you that. I'm, I'm, how much y'all want to bet? I bet he don't let me get away with nothing. But it's all right, though. It is what it is, man. It all comes with being battle true. But let me get off into this. This blog is about Norbs. Norbs always find a way to try to make things better, to clean up the mess and things for the URL. So North go on talking about Summer Madness 7. He said, I don't think it was a bad event. You don't suppose to. You threw it. You part of the reason. You part of the uh, 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 reason why it was messed up. You supposed to say that. It definitely was a bad event. And knowledge, you agree with that saying that it wasn't. It definitely was, fam. Come on, we not finna do that, fam. Why Why would you do... Hold on, I got to bang the gavel on these clowns. What are you talking about, man? That was a horrible event. That was a horrible event. Y'all agreeing with that stuff? That's some clown stuff, man. Listen, th that was a horrible event, fam. We not finna do that, man. Well, let's talk about it. Shotgun should jersey twice. Twice, not once, but twice. New Jersey twerk jersey twice. Literally quit and gave up. Mav Hopper was terrible. That's three. T-Rex ran out of gas and was terrible. That's four. Rock wasn't good. That's five. Then you got, <coughs> excuse me. Then you got Old Red. Sabotage the whole battle. That's six. Ill Will wasn't that fire. That's seven. And how many people was on that card? How many people was on that card? Ten. Seven out of the ten. Seven out of the ten. The only people who was good that night. No, let me change that. Let me change that. It was uh, four of them brothers. Reed Dollar was okay. He was okay. A lot of drive spots. He was okay, but we're going to give him credit because it's Reed. Hitman was good. JC and Iron Solomon was good. Ab was good. Ab was good. So, uh, those brothers was good. So, no, we're not doing that. That was a horrible event. <coughs> then North go on and say, the event wasn't that bad. He said, people were just more focused on twerk not having rounds. No, we wasn't. You think that people was really uh, 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 expecting twerk? Geechee Gotti was nice, too. I forgot to leave. Uh, uh, I didn't mean to leave him out. But here's my point. You you really sitting there making it seem as though, fam, that people were just more focused on twerk, not having it round. Man, get up out of here, man. That whole card on paper was supposed to have been a fire event. Wasn't nobody uh uh that much into uh surprise that twerk. Twerk been choking mostly all his battles, man. Twerk probably got two or three battles he didn't choke in. The rest all chokes. It was expected. Ain't nobody surprised at that. Then he said, oh, oh, you saw what he did in the JC battle. Yeah, that was a good battle, but he ran out of gas in the first round. Oh, 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 you saw what he did in the bird battle. Yeah, choked again in that battle also in the first round. What are you talking about? Man, stop it. We're not going to do that, man. Look, 
you not finna do that, man. Run that stuff with somebody else, man. You can't run that stuff with us, man. Get up out of here with that trash. Then he said, then he said, uh, he respect Mook, but not his resume. Okay, I agree with you on that. I agree with you on that. I got respect for Mook, too, to some degree. But I really think, I definitely believe he's very fraudulent. I believe he's an opportunist. I believe he's a battle rap prostitute. And I definitely believe, and what I mean by that is, he'll sell people, he, 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 he for sale. Anything is for sale when it comes to him. His name for sale, his brand for sale, his team for sale. Anything for sale when it comes to this brother, man. This brother have no loyalty, man. Not even to himself. This brother really, really, really is one of them brothers you can't stand to be around because he think he better than everybody. So, I definitely get that. Um, then he touch on and speak about the New Jersey twerk. He said this out of his mouth. We to take we we are fault too to take some of our blame too, even though New Jersey twerk messed up. But we to blame too. Listen at this, y'all. Maybe we shouldn't have, maybe we shouldn't have, and I quote, maybe we shouldn't have forced him to take those battles. Oh, y'all forcing people to take battles now. Right. See, we're going to talk about that too in another blog. I believe this is what's hurting y'all a whole lot. When you sitting there, I believe this is what's hurting y'all a whole lot. When you sitting there and y'all politic and battle rap. Y'all choosing who y'all want to win and choosing who y'all want to destroy, which is so sad, which is so horrible. We're going to get off into another. I'm, I'm going to address that and break that down. But this is the things y'all do, man. Y'all was expecting for that man to kill him, but it didn't happen. It didn't happen that way, and he died. And then what happened is y'all tried to save him by uh, uh, counseling a Danny Myers battle so he couldn't take a back-to-back -back blow that hurt his, that hurt his stock. This battle rap. Let him go. Let him fight. That's what this is about. Get out of the way. Why y'all trying to save and politic and protect people? Y'all just sabotaging and messing up battle rap and y'all doing too much of league owners, man. That's real shifty, grimy, and dirty, man. Um. Then, uh. He said, they talked about chess. He got to talk about, do you see Chess? Do you see all the stuff he accomplished at his young age? Yeah, y'all destroyed that brother. Y'all destroyed that brother. Then knowledge like, yeah, he had a classic with Tay Rock. Right, he had a classic with Tay Rock. Right. At what expense? At what cost? That's basically what's the only battle you could bring up. Hurt that brother's career. Now look at the brother. Now where he at? See, they use you until you can't be used no more. Then they let you go. Build your brand up someplace else. He like, I believe Chef's going to make a comeback. Right. You expect for him to make a comeback on somebody else's platform, do two good battles, then guess what? Now, oh, see, I knew you could do it. I knew you could do it. Now let me put you back on the car. Man, these dudes, man, horrible, man. Horrible, but he said, he said, he said a lot of stuff that was just straight bogus, straight foul, just not good, man. And then he say he keep it real. You're not keeping it real, fam. You're not keeping it real at all. You saying, well, twerk them. Maybe they shouldn't have been taking the money for these battles if they wasn't going to take them good and be serious. These dudes ain't got no choice but to take the money. They ain't got no money. They ain't got no choice but to take the money. They ain't got no money. They not going to turn down the check you throw it at them. They not going to turn down the opportunity to get on that stage. But it still ain't no excuse for them not being good. But see, what y'all do is keep on... You, you you get everything you can out of a person immediately. Straight raping these guys. Y'all literally raping these guys, man. They don't even know their potential. They don't even know what they worth and value. Y'all know it out the gate and be raping them out the gate. 
by the time they realize just how good they is, just how much stock really mean and Brandon really mean it, they already used up. They already used up, already tarnished, already tainted. They on their way out by the time they find that out. And then when they do find out what's going on, y'all ain't already gave them all the big battles. So guess what? All the money battles gone. You gave them that in the beginning of their careers. They don't even peep it. They ain't even peep it. And y'all bogus, man. Because y'all see these brothers hurting themselves, destroying themselves. And yet, y'all ain't trying to. Y'all ain't caring about their future and things like that. All you care about is how much you can get up out of them before they can start asking you for things. Come on, man. I say that stuff come back on them, brothers. It was hard looking at that interview, man. That looked as sickening, man. You, you look like you about to fall over, man, and croak, man. That looked like some, that looked like some jab of the hut type stuff, man. Man, I, man, that was that was sickening, man. I literally had to watch that. That interview with the phone face down. I just was listening to the. I was listening to the audio, man. I couldn't even see you. Did you have on a? Did you have on a white tee? <laughs> Why all your clothes look like Incredible Hulk? Why your clothes look all Incredible Hulk busted out? <laughs> I bet them draws done. I bet this brother, <laughs> this brother got, this brother Dookie stays in the front of the draws. <laughs> Ain't no way you can't tell me you don't mess up underwear. <laughs> you an underwear messer upper. <laughs> yeah, you know it. <laughs> you mess up the back of the toilet stool. <laughs> You didn't left gravy train on the back of the toilet stool. When you when you use the toilet, when you use the toilet, the anal cheeks hang over the toilet. It like it engulf. <laughs> it engulf. <laughs> it engulf the toilet stool, <laughs> and your cheeks hit the ground like water balloons. <laughs> This brother get up and pick the toilet up with him to wipe himself. <laughs> man, please, man, that's sickening, man. That's sickening. <laughs> this brother's stomach is science project. <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> science fair, science state fair, state fair pig prizes. <laughs> Man, please, man, that looked it. That looked it. Sickening, man. <laughs> that looked it. Sickening, man. Could you even fit in the casket? <laughs> Could this man even fit in the casket? Do they even have casket dough size? <laughs> this, they care with this brother real body in the front <laughs> and just laid him on the floor. <laughs> This brother couldn't fit in the casket. Five people had one leg. Five people had the other leg. Four people had one arm. This this brother literally was was was. was <laughs> this brother literally was crowd served to his funeral. <laughs> they just laid him on the floor and people stood over him like that was a good brother. <laughs> One baby three years old was flipping on his stomach, trampoline. They trampoline to his stomach. <laughs> At a funeral. Wait, he ain't even dead yet. Well, when he died, hang <laughs> on. Man, that's crazy, man. When do you know enough is enough? When, when do you know your plate is full? <laughs> When do you know your plate is full? When, when do you know you full? How do you... When you 500 pounds, what do you get full? <laughs> what makes you full? Gallons of milk, loaves of bread. <laughs> this dude gonna get mad. This dude gonna get mad. <laughs> 
dude, this dude be getting mad when on Thanksgiving everything don't fit on the plate. You know when people have Thanksgiving, you know when people have Thanksgiving and they cook like 13, 14 different things and you know it can't all fit on the plate. So you put like four on this plate or you might get another plate to just have a taste of everything. <laughs> This brother, this brother, this brother dump truck kick, this brother dump truck kicks food. <laughs> you know the dump trucks with the shovel at the bottom of them? That's how they, that's how they bring this brother, that's how they bring this brother his Thanksgiving food. <laughs> they dump truck this brother Thanksgiving tray. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. They dump truck this brother, <laughs> this brother supper. <laughs> oh man, <clears throat> man, that's sickening, man. That's sickening, man. <laughs> you know what's crazy? Somebody actually let him get on top of them. <laughs> <laughs> that's a strong woman. But that that's a strong woman. <laughs> that woman is straight up sold. And look, I salute you, sweetheart. If you can handle that pressure, if you can handle that pressure, that's why he really be thinking he be doing something. <laughs> that screaming and hollering is not from you handling your business. That screaming and hollering <laughs> is a call for help. <laughs> Man. Fam. <laughs> when you were getting into your 300s, pounds, that didn't dawn on you then? When you got into your 400s, you still didn't want help? When you get in the 500, <laughs> that dude just said, oh, well, I don't care. You got to die from something. You, you really think your life, don't you think your life is worth more than cold cut pieces and stuff? You don't think you serve <laughs> a better purpose than just grocery shopping and food stamps? Do you <laughs> You, you think you would just put here just the eating stuff? <laughs> this is crazy, man. This only in battle rap, man. This stuff crazy, man. But no, if look, get out of here with that trash, man. Stop trying to pimp us. You can't pimp us, man. We already look. The jig is up. You can't get in front of them cameras and sit there. And tell us stuff that we don't already know. We know the secrets. We know about all this stuff. And knowledge. You got all that knowledge, brother. You, you, you really called yourself knowledge. You got all that knowledge. Why you not giving them brothers knowledge, man? You don't, you don't see that. When you see that, when you see chocolate running down his brother's leg, when do you think? You was going. <laughs> when did it dawn on you that you could at least pull that brother to the side and give him some pointers on bettering his life? When you see this brother really thought he could literally eat his cholesterol, why didn't that cut a light on in your head to at least talk to this brother and let him know that's what he should be getting rid of and not trying to eat? When you saw. When you saw this brother walk to the chair and just start sweating, walking three paces to a chair, and he literally sweating like he in a sauna, why didn't that bother you to try to talk some sense into this brother? Come on, knowledge, that ain't cool, man. That is not cool. Give them brothers some real knowledge, man. And this your boy Battle True. You cheated me too. You cheated me, knowledge. You, you know, I can't wait to talk to you.
Set up my interview, brother. You cheated me, man. We gonna talk about it, though. And when I... Let me, before I end this vlog, let me ask you a question. Why would you interview everybody? You ask, you always ask them questions about me. What about you? What about, why do you do that? But then, you don't want to ask me personally. Are you setting me up, brother? Are you setting me up, brother? We going to talk. I'm coming for my interview. I'm coming to my interview. That's only right. I figure, I figure if you're going to sit there, fam, and ask everybody questions about me, then I should be the one you should be reaching out to to even talk to. You ain't scared of me, is you, brother? You, could you imagine how that interview going to go? You finally get the battle truth. And there's somebody in your circle, man, I want to talk to. I don't know who that person is, though, man, but I want to say something. <laughs> you know exactly who it is. Me and you going to have that talk. You owe me, brother. You owe me. And I'm coming for it. I'm coming for that number one spot. I'm already number one dude. Me and you going to holler, though. And give your boy Noah some advice. This your boy Battle Truth. Make my judgment that's in question. It's yours.